1975 to 2015, which is the title of this exhibition, is my first solo in Australia. And it brings together projects I've been working on for the last three years. Um, my work generally looks at historical um, narratives that have been um, sidelined by official accounts. And, and it kind of finds a way to contain these histories within domestic objects. So the show itself is composed of wallpaper, um, CCTV cameras are being decorated with seashells, um, postcards and silk scarves. Um, and the title of the show is key in kind of understanding the structure of it. Um, 1975 is the year when um, uh, this operation in Saigon took place called Operation Frequent Wind, which is when um, the uh, American civilians and the Vietnamese sympathetic to the American military were evacuated from, from Vietnam. And 2015 is the year when uh, the last objects in these exhibitions were produced. So it kind of combines these historical references with my production schedule and kind of compresses them into kind of into quite an absurd timeline. And, and I think that's key in trying to understand my work as well, because it, it, it always, there's always this push and pull between these dense historical references, but also there's a kind of richness of the material um, in the work I make. So on the ground floor, is a huge wallpaper installation that kind of colonizes the whole space. It's about three meters by 20 meters. Um, and it's this sort of really intense camouflage pattern. Um, the camouflage pattern itself is taken from the ERDL camouflage, which um, was devised by the American military for the jungles of Vietnam. Um, but um, on top of that camouflage is this fragmented um, image, which is appropriated from a 1976 um, Farrah Fawcett pinup, sort of this iconic image where she's in a red swimsuit lounging by a pool in California. Um, and I think those two kind of contrasting, I guess, visions of American power um, sort of form the kind of the basis of the show, um, both historically and also as a kind of a way of starting to think about the objects being exhibited that, you know, on the one hand, there's this kind of pattern that suggests American power, um, American hard power. And on the other hand, it's, it's, it's this way that, um, I guess, American image making has kind of shaped how people desire, how people construct fantasies. So it's the hard and soft um, relationship, the hard and soft ways of, um, of I guess, taking over. Yeah, that forms it. Upstairs is a, a 10 meter long installation um, of postcards on this really long plinth. Um, that is, the title of it is the collection of Jane Ryan and William Saunders. And it's actually part of a much larger project I've been working on for the last three years that um, tries to reconstruct the collection of paintings, art, other artworks, um, jewelry, silverware, that Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos, who ruled the Philippines under a conjugal dictatorship, um, amassed, um, purchased with ill-gotten wealth. Um, and Jane Ryan and William Saunders are the alter egos they'd used to open Swiss bank accounts in uh, 1968. So the installation is a series of postcards that people can take with them in a way as, as a way of kind of democratizing the loot and sharing this kind of ill-gotten wealth back to the people, back to the public. And on the walls of the top floor are um, a series of silk scarves, um, all together titled Every Tool is a Weapon If You Hold It Right. And again, it's another series. I tend to work in, in ongoing series of, of work. It's an ongoing series of silk scarves that kind of use that, that motif, the silk square, as a way of composing sort of con contemporary vanitas um, still lives. <laughs> 